Hi y'all. I'm going to share some key tips that you're going to need to know for success in middle school. The first one is to sleep well. Teens and young adults should be getting 8 to 10 hours per night because enough sleep is critical for your body and brain to function well. Number two, eat right. Healthy and balanced meals give your body and mind energy to work well throughout the day. Take extra time and effort to make sure you're not only getting eat. You're not only eating enough, but eating a mix of everything you need. Fruits, veggies, dairy, whole grains. If you have more questions about that, you can ask me or our school nurse or your school nurse in middle school. Number three is do your homework. I know it's hard sometimes, but it's important to make it a habit to do your homework each night. Um, that helps you to practice skills that you're going to need to be ready for the quizzes and tests you're going to have. It also helps to show your teacher that you care, which may come in handy when you need his or her help. Number four is to pay attention in class. Focusing and using class time wisely is one of the best ways to get ahead in middle school. Since you'll be switching around from class to class, it's important to pay attention and follow along for every minute that you can. Get involved. Research shows that school involvement can be a big determining factor for your success. That means it's important. Kids who are involved with after-school activities, sports, and clubs are more likely to do well inside of school and outside of school. These kinds of activities could be sports, they could be academic clubs, they could be leadership clubs like student council. There's going to be a lot of clubs out there, so keep an eye out for them. Number six is to think positive. Things are going to get tough and overwhelming at times. It's important to stay positive and know that you can do whatever you put your mind to. And there are people here at Hot River and at your school that care about you and want you to be successful. You can reach out for help when you need it. Number seven is to ask for help. Whether it's academic, social issues, or emotional things going on, there are adults at the school who are ready and want to help you. Seek out and ask for help when you feel that you might need it. Stay organized. A little of organization goes a long, long way in middle school. Write down your homework in a consistent place that you can find. Keep those pages organized and in the right spot so that when it comes time to do that homework, you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing and when it's going to be due. These kinds of, this kind of organization will help you study, turn in work on time, and do better on tests and quizzes. Number nine is make goals for yourself. You know about goals. Give yourself something that you want to attain by the end of the marking term, right? That means by the end of the, the, six, this, the weeks that we are this grading period, what do I want to accomplish? Do I want a B in science? If I want a B in science, what do I have to do to make that happen? Make a plan and stick to it, and then reward yourself for sticking to that plan, just like we do with wig goals, or just like we do with wigs. And then number 10 is to take risks. I've seen you do some hard things at Haw River, and so I know that you can do hard things in middle school, too. Middle school is a time when you start to grow up and figure out who you are in the world. So take risks and be brave. It'll pay off in the end. These risks can be with friends. That maybe means reaching out to someone you haven't talked to before and saying, hey, do you want to hang out? Or it might be a risk where you ask for help, and it might help benefit you in the long run. I know you're going to be amazing in middle school. I can't wait to see what happens.